Hi everyone. So today I wanted to share my blown inks cup with y'all. This is a cup that I did for a cup swap and I had so much fun making it and she loved it so I just wanted to share the process with y'all. So I've already got my uh, glitter applied to my cup. I used the hang method and the glitter that I used for this one was Pearl from Glitter Chimp. It's such a pretty color. So I'm applying, I believe this is 20 mLs of epoxy. But then I added a little more, so all together I used 35 mLs of epoxy. So now I just, you've heard me say it before, let it spin four hours and then I just let it sit overnight. So now it's time to move on to the fun part. I did the cup just needed a very light sand before I put on my alcohol inks. Um, so I just did a very, very light sand. So for this project, you're going to need canned air um, I'm sure I think you can do this if you don't have the canned air you can do it with a straw just blowing through a straw that would work the first color that I used uh, that was aquamarine and then the red was watermelon and pitch black and those are all Tim Holtz slight right there malfunction my <laughs> my straw just shot right off the can <laughs> but I got it back on and all was well so I'm just dropping it on there and then immediately hitting it with the canned air. I'm doing quick short bursts the alcohol ink dries very quickly so you want to be quick about it so drop it on and then hit it with the air
so that very very first drop of this color I knew that it wasn't the right color but it was already on there and there wasn't much I could do about it then because I mean I could have tried to wipe it off with alcohol but the epoxy was already stained plus I had already sanded the cup so that the alcohol ink was already in there but no worries the cup turned out just fine in the end so I switched to Baja Blue from Pinata but since I had already put that blue down at the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and put it at the top as well just to give the cup an even cohesive look but this color was much much better and it matched the decal almost perfectly so just drop it on and hit it and it doesn't take you don't need a lot of ink you can see that one little drop goes a long way So since I'm going to be putting two other colors in here, I'm just just dropping this in just random spots. I'm not worried about. I don't need a lot of one color. So now to the watermelon and this one also matched the decal almost perfectly. And I didn't want to drop my red directly onto the blue because I didn't want to get um, I didn't want it turning purple so you can do the drop and you'll get a smaller spray or you can do like I did on that last one and drop and let it run down a little bit and you'll get a wider spray so just have fun with it I just I really love to do these cups I know I say that about a lot of my cups this is my new favorite technique um, I just have a lot of fun with these cups trying to find colors or trying to match my decal they're really fun to do I was a little late to jump on this blown ink bandwagon um, but now that I've done it I have to stop myself from <laughs> from doing them on every cup so at first I wasn't sure if I was going to use the black or not um, but I'm so glad I did the cup would have been pretty just like that but the decal had a thin black outline and um, 
so I thought you know what I'll just <clears throat> I'll just go for it but I didn't drop the black onto the cup like I did the other colors I just touched the nozzle of the bottle to the cup and very little came out because I didn't want the black to take over black if you've used black alcohol inks before you'll know that it takes over very quickly so no dropping just touching the tip of the nozzle to the cup and you see how very little it's coming out So I'm just using it to fill in any blank spots. And you see how, I mean there's very little coming out and you see how far it goes. So. just be careful using some of these inks because they come out of the bottle before you even get the bottle tipped over all the way so just be careful because it doesn't take a lot I absolutely love the way this cup turned out. At first I wasn't going to do the bottom, but alcohol inks can be messy, and once that canned air hits them, they kind of just did its own thing there on the bottom, so. Alright, so now for, um, for the alcohol inks, I will do one of two things. I will either let them sit for 24 hours and then epoxy over them or I will seal them with Kamar varnish Krylon Kamar varnish because I had sanded this cup and I was going to be putting a water slide on. I sealed it with the Kamar varnish. It gave it a, a nice glossy shine. Since I had sanded the cup, if I had put my water slide on without sealing it, 
then you would have seen the difference between the rest of the cup and underneath the water slide it would have looked dull under the water slide so now I'm just going to put her name make sure that um, your transfer paper has enough sticky to it I kept having issues with mine I've used this piece I don't know how many times so just get it on there press it down in the center and then work your way out to the edges and everyone has their own way of doing the names some people will start the the name going from the bottom to the top of the cup I always do mine going from top to bottom but some people do it bottom to top it's just I didn't even think about it the first time I did it I just put it on there and that's just the way I automatically do it every time so whichever way you want to do it unless your customer specifically requires you to do it a certain way then now we got the name on there that text is called a knockout text I did not include that in this tutorial I watched another tutorial to learn how to do that So I got my water slides and I mirrored them. You don't have to mirror them. There's two ways you can apply water slides. You can apply them with the image facing down towards on, on the cup. That's the Kamar varnish that I used for my alcohol inks. It doesn't affect your alcohol inks the way that regular clear spray does sometimes so you can not mirror your water slide image and lay the backing paper flat on the cup and then slide the water slide off that way or you can mirror your image and lay lay it down so that the image is on the cup and then you just slide the paper off so I'm just trying to make sure that my water slide is going to be centered with my name the water slide paper that I just showed I get that on Amazon I will leave a link to that my water I just I leave that in the container at all times that way it's ready to go whenever I need it and it's always at room temperature I printed two water slides just in case I needed to layer them I wasn't sure how well it was going to show up with just one on there so I printed two just in case I needed to layer you want to make sure before you put your water slide on that you get your cup surface wet that way if you need to make any adjustments like that it's easy to move around so 
So as you can see, all I did was lay the image side down on the cup and slid the paper right off. So remember, if you do it that way, you need to mirror the image so it's reversed. But if you're going to do it to where the image you lay the cup, you lay the image on the cup and the image is facing towards you, then you don't want to mirror the image. I know I'm probably starting to confuse everyone. I will do a tutorial on showing both ways. So I put on gloves. You can use your gloved finger or you can use a silicone brush. You just want to make sure that your image and your brush or your finger are wet so that you don't tear the water slide. But just use your finger or the brush to remove any air bubbles from underneath the water slide. Make sure your seal, I mean your edges all the way around are pressed down. If you have air bubbles, you will be able to see them after the epoxy is applied. So just make sure that there's no wrinkles, no air bubbles, the edges are sealed. And I think it looks fine. You can see it perfectly with just the one. so. I don't need to layer any water slides today. Dab it with a paper towel. You don't want to swipe on it or wipe it because um, you don't want to tear your water slides. So just dab it and get off any moisture that's left on your cup. Um, Drying time varies, you know, everybody has their preferences. Some people use a blow dryer to dry it off quickly. Some people let it sit 30 minutes, a couple of hours. I usually just let mine sit 12 to 24 hours just to make sure that there's no moisture left underneath the water slide. If you apply epoxy, and there's still moisture anywhere on there it will make your epoxy look cloudy so I just let mine sit for 12 to 24 hours and then I will just epoxy right over it so this was I believe 25 mls of epoxy. I don't like to feel my decal at all. So I don't like to feel the vinyl. So this was, I believe, 25 mls of epoxy. Let it spin four hours, sit overnight, and then hopefully it's done. So here's the final. These pictures, I could not get very good pictures. This glitter is absolutely gorgeous. She loved her swap cup. I had so much fun making it, and I hope that y'all will try this technique, have fun with it. And if you try, I would love to see a picture.
Bye, everyone.